from amazing Arunachal to edible Arunachal. Come join us Arunachal Tourism in this delicious journey of food, travel and culture as we explore one traditional cuisine at a time. This is Aroma of Arunachal. Welcome to another episode filled with culture and culinary delight as we take you to the abode of the Apatanis. This is Zero Valley. Tucked away in the unexplored mountainscape of Arunachal Pradesh, Zero is a fascinating tourist destination. Perched at an elevation of 5,500 feet above sea level, Zero is known as a paradise for nature lover and cultural enthusiast. On one hand, the sprawling green cover of blue and green pines, the huge aging rice fields, quaint villages, lush bamboo forests, picturesque trails, and the rolling green valleys covered under thick layers of vibrant flora takes you on a nature's ride. On the other hand, the simplicity and tranquility of this quaint town absorbs your soul towards a spiritual and cultural keenness. Zero is also a great place for adventure seekers offering captivating trekking experience, camping, wildlife exploration. And one such experience you'll get is at Tale Valley. Not just the side of Tale Valley, but the sound of the valley captures your imagination too. The murmuring streams underneath your feet, the rustling leaves that makes the path for you, the singing of the birds, it's all a magical escape into the wilderness of Arunachal Pradesh. A land loaded for efficient utilization of its natural resources, the CK Lake will come as no surprise as the first artificial lake of Arunachal Pradesh. Situated 9.5 km from Hapoli town, CK Lake is a water conservation project scheme of the government of Arunachal Pradesh that has been converted to a man-made lake and is now a tourist favorite. And an hour's trek through the hills will lead you to a place called Tao Tibe that is home to a very inspiring farmer named Rotobani. He has been living and farming here since 1968 with his family. The sprawling farmland is now famous as Rotopani Organic Farm, where it's not just about farming, but it's also a tourist hotspot with facilities like a restaurant, a picnic spot. One can even enjoy fishing upon a decent entry fee, and it's a perfect place to camp out. No water. Rotopani with such a progressive concept was conferred with a state award for best farmer in 1991. Today, he's in his 90s, still living his good life in the best of the place with all the goodies of nature. And talking about goodies, if you are in zero, you cannot escape the goodness of the ultimate traditional delicacy of the region, the Pique Pila. PK Pila is to zero what pizza is to Italy. PK Pila is the most famous dish of the Apatani tribe. Made from fermented ingredients as well as fresh varieties of plants, some of which are difficult to find in the market. Lucky for us, we got to experience the making of an authentic PK Pila right from how the pork fat is stored to filtering of the pillar. It is a show of tradition well preserved. The cooking process of PK pillar is itself quite simple. It's the preparation of the key ingredient, huli and pillar, that is the most intricate. And it all begins in the traditional fireplace with the ingredients and tales of tradition gathered around. Her name is Tam Yamya. She's our host. Along with her husband, Yamya, runs a namestake homestay, which is considered to be the first homestay in the state. 
Yang Yang will be the one showing us how the PK Villa is done the traditional way. She lets few cups of water boil until she brings out her ingredients and adds them one by one onto the boiling water. The first ingredient is salio. It is the flower of Michaelia champaka tree, also known as champa. The tree flowers and fruits throughout the year, but one has to forage the salio from the community forest. The second ingredient is the bamboo shoot, an edible shoot that comes out of the ground as new bamboo comes, another staple of the region. After a few minutes, Yam Yam adds the third ingredient and the most important one, the pork fat, also known as huli. Usually the small pork meat is used but one can use other type of dried meat as per preference. The pork fats are generally the aged meat, ranging from 3 months to 20 years. The fat is well preserved using traditional method of smoking which is unique and feasible to this region only where the climate of zero is perfect for such preservation. Wherein the meat is tucked and tied to a bamboo cage and left to dry by hanging it near the fireplace. The smoke and warmth from the fire is what keeps the meat preserved and prevents from any sort of decay. It is said that older the meat, tastier it is for picky pila. However, this is not just used for making picky pila. Huli has a cultural and economic significance first. The edibility is just secondary. The next ingredient is sanko, another forest produce. It is a subspecies of chef lera plant. Locals eat it raw and consider it good for digestion. The stem of sanko is also used in the preparation, giving it a very rich and organic flavor. Sanko is then accompanied by salt and dry chili for the spice. And now it's time for the final and the second most important ingredient, the pila, from whom the dish gets the name. Pila is added only after the dish is cooked. It is like a broth or stock that enhances the craviness of the dish. It is made using different types of ingredients. Some use the stem of papaya, some use the stem of a thorny wild cane locally known as lobiotare or papaya trunk, banana peels and a variety of other plants are also sometimes used. The ingredients are first dried and then burned into ashes. These ashes are collected and filtered using a bamboo made funnel. Cold water is then poured slowly over the ash resulting in the filtrate liquid dripping down the funnel. And that is called the pilla. It is a clear ruby colored or a dark liquid which can be stored for a very long period of time. Its use is also very versatile as a ready-made stock, adding flavor to traditional food like hiku pike, salio pike, pike pila, etc. Yam Yang checks the seasoning, adds a little pila and then stirs the dish and keeps it on low flame for another 5 to 10 minutes. After which, pike pila is ready to be served with rice. Arunachal Pradesh with its rich tradition and culture has a lot to offer to those who seek the unexplored. So come, enjoy the warmth of the valley and its culinary experience. This 
was an Arunachal Pradesh Tourism presentation. See you again, another episode, another delicacy. Goodbye.